everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing the uh, September Faves, Hits, and Hates Hits video. Before we get started, please ignore my fan in the background. It is really hot, and um, I'm really sick right now. So I, if I don't stay at least a little bit cool, I'm going to feel super uncomfortable. So, please ignore my van in the background. I know it sounds like a jet engine, but I need to stay cool or I'm not going to feel any better. But yeah, so, a face hates this video for anyone that's new here is where I talk about... Is where I talk about things that I've enjoyed from the previous month. And I talk about it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So I have my list right here in front of me. Of all my faves, since and hate since for September. So let's get started with the first one. So the first one I want to talk about is the viral animal sensation. So, for anyone that doesn't know, Mutang is this pygmy hippo in a Thailand suit, and she is just, she's just so hilarious. She has these, like, viral videos and photos online, and she's just, like, the cutest thing ever. She has had some controversy because someone tried to like, someone made some thread online, like basically lying about the zoo that she's from, saying that it was extremely poor conditions and stuff like that. But then someone else on Twitter like debunked it, and Wudang is in pretty good hands. But Wudang, I love her so much. She's just so hilarious, so cute. But then there's like a whole bunch of new, like animal people that have gotten viral. Animals that got viral, like um, Best of the Penguin, for example. I feel like Mutang and Best are like my are like my driving forces at this point because there's like nothing else good going on right now. So like I need to hold on to Mutang and Pesto as much as I can. <gasps> Sorry, I'm just like so tired. But yeah, and I love Mudang. She's so cute. And I just want to be one of those. I just want to be like Mudang where I just like sit around all day and just kind of relax, eat, and just like stay moisturized and all that stuff. But yeah, so that's my first face. It's in my second. Oh, not my second. My first hate sits is the bus routes in my city. So, some days I like to take the bus, and um, when I was in junior college, I took the bus to school every day. It was like a city bus, it was like a school bus. Um, and the route that was the only route that was in my city, because I have, my city is pretty small compared to like the surrounding cities I live by and this route that I had was like perfect it, went, it was a straight shot to my college and I loved it then I graduated college and I haven't taken the bus to school ever since but they did change the routes of the bus like I don't know like a couple years ago like maybe like after the pandemic was over but after like lockdowns were closed and stuff like that. But yeah, and um, they basically kind of ruined the bus route that I loved because, um, well, the bus route that I took like most of the time was because, like, one, the bus routes before, like, on the bus map, they showed every single stop. 
every single time. So you're like, you know, like, like, oh, this spot, because like the bus stops I took are like not very special bus stops, but you still have to take them. They do that for trains, but I don't understand why they took away that for the bus. So now there's like, they label like, oh, this is like this bus stop, this bus stop, this bus stop, this bus stop, are the only ones that get times. But the rest of them are like, you have to do the math. But I'm like, that's insane. Because like, how am I supposed to know? Like, I figured it out because the website, I have to go to the freaking bus's website go to like the thing that says like oh where's my bus or whatever and I have to like press the stop that I want to go to and it tells me the times but it doesn't tell me on like a physical map like what if someone only uses a physical map and doesn't really you know how to use a phone like an older person who doesn't have a phone or if it's like a little kid that doesn't really have a phone that they can use how are they supposed to know like I kind of know but like for someone that doesn't have a physical map or something Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just like so tired. But yeah. But like the bus route goes like through my city, but that's about it. You go to the college, it's just good to the. I guess there's a sh like the, there's like this big street that has like all these shopping centers that I love to go to. But now I have to go stop on one bus, go on another bus. It's like for that lady gone, it goes just like bus, club, another club, plane, another bus, party, club. All that stuff. It's just like, how many buses do I need to take to be able to get somewhere? And then when I did it the first time, because I've only done that kind of bus route once, I realized I should have taken a third bus just to get to where I wanted to go because it was an extremely long walk to where I wanted to go. Even though it was like maybe like a 16, 18 minute walk, it's not that bad. But I just, I feel like the, like, they more bus stops, but I'm just like, add more bus routes, but it's just like, you kind of mess with the flow of a lot of things, and it's just kind of, like, what if people in my town want to go to, and go to the junior college that I go, that I go to, and it's just like, are they just like, like, messed up, are they just like, sucks to suck, I guess. But yeah, and um, I just like, like I don't really like the bus stops now. It's like the one that I have, it like is fine. But it's just like really annoying. But yeah, so now to my second phase, it's, which is my crochet Instagram. So I haven't really been keeping up with the Instagram, but I really wanted to. I've just been, I've been busy with work, and I haven't been crocheting a lot lately, but I really want to get back into it. I think I'm just starting to lose that spark, but I really, really want to keep it. But yeah, so, I'm still working on my Etsy. Um, I'm still working on, like, trying to get pictures for my crochet pieces and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm still working on it, I'm still working on stuff. Just like I just want to try to like have a good time with things. But yeah, I like really love it. I've been really loving crocheting and just like starting my Instagram. Really, it's gonna try to give me the jump start I need to be able to like get really the start something that I've been really wanting to do for a long time. But yeah. All right. So that was a short one. So now to my second hate it. It, it is the lack of support at work so working at Kohl's um we got a new kind of like cute worrying type of deal and but, like right now it's kind of like have you like if you've ever been to like Burlington or DJ Maxx or Marshalls it's very similar to that where you have like it starts you you go through and you kind of go like either you can go like straight through to get the self checkout or you can like turn to go to the regular registers and it's just like crazy but now like we have customer service in the front 
so now we do returns and exchanges and things like that up there as well and it used to be in the back where we had our Amazon now our Amazon is only in the back and um it's just um really annoying now because like me and my co-workers that work up in the front were promised support to help with like oh like we have a bunch of 500s that need to be put away and it was a really busy day no one was he no one like was wanting to help or not wanting to help no one could help because they weren't allowed to really like I even was in the same room as my manager and she said like while I was in the room I'm not having my floor team deal with those 500s and it just like really maybe not like maybe really hate my manager because it's like what are we supposed to do like and I think she realized that I think she has a karma because one day it was such a busy day we had so many people bringing in so many returns and that was going to be like my original eight cents for this month was just the amount of returns that, I, that people bring in like and just kind of like the overconsumption of just like old people that old people have like they buy like so many dresses and so many like undergarments and just so much stuff and I'm just like I know like I'm being a hypocrite talking about overconsumption but I'm just like I use my stuff it's just like it's just people are always buying things and always returning things and people bring in like bags and bags full of our hundreds and people are returns and people are like oh just I'm sorry and if they ask for how many things I have to return I'm just like okay it just gets annoying I know it's like it's part of my job but it's just like it's, it gets annoying sometimes and just the lack of support that I get from my managers and my and the floor team is just insane uh, yeah now time for my final fave sits and this one is probably something that I am so happy that I discovered so I discovered this YouTube channel called Sleepy Keys ASMR and they do these very like retro 80s style kind of like videos like in ASMR they do a lot of like 80s like QVC 80s 90s QVC kind of where she shows off like collections of jewelry frame photo frames or salt and pepper shakers and things like that and it just it's like so relaxing and I love just like just the aesthetic of the videos and the way she does her ASMR is just so beautiful I will definitely try to link her down in the description because she is such a doll and she is so amazing I love her videos and they're even a little bit funny too sometimes to like make a little funny snide comment about something and I just love it so much I love her channel definitely check her out all right time for the final hate it and I would say is the Minecraft movie trailer so the Minecraft movie trailer came out and I was like really excited for the Minecraft movie trailer even though like I have heard nothing about the Minecraft movie so far in its production like I think just the kind of the worst thing that was about it is just that they did it they with live action like mixing live action and like animation like that it can work like I feel like the way they changed up because like this is giving very much a heightened version 
of the Sonic the Hedgehog situation. So for anyone that doesn't know, this situation was when, when the original Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie that came out a few years ago came out. And everyone was talking about how ugly Sonic looked. And it looked so like, weirdly, like, realistic. What is it like, supposed to be, like, cartoon and stuff like that. And it's just like, why did you do that? And so they changed Sonic's character to look more true to like the games and his artwork, which is really good. But like, you can't really fix that with animation unless you like animate the whole, animate over the live action characters or something, live action people like that. And I feel like people are getting a little bit too mad at Jack Black, but I'm like, I love Jack Black. I don't really know what's like the problem, but I understand like they mix like life actually. I feel like there's some like justifiable hate, but then there's like other like hate that like I feel like is unjustified and just used as like a way to like spew bigotry and stuff like that. Um, specifically with because they added a black character to the movie and people are upset about that for some reason. I don't know. People are stupid. But yeah. I will be tentative and just like keep my hopes very low for how this movie is going to turn out. Maybe it's kind of like a Barbie movie situation where it's like is it going to be good? Is it just going to be like a kind of cash grab and stuff like that? And then Barbie came out to be like an amazing movie. But We'll see. Bam. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching that. Thank you so much for like not getting hopefully not getting upset with me for being sick. I'm just like I still want to record a video. I was gonna record it yesterday, but I was like really busy and I was on the bag and I got like really tired. I just didn't want to do anything. Bam, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all my socials down in the doobly doo. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice and safe day.